Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the social.in account. This is Pradeep and in this episode of the Social Media Weekly, we're talking about Google still paying Apple billions of dollars for being the default search engine on iOS. We're talking about Google image search becoming a little bit smarter and we're talking about Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp potentially integrating. Let's get started. So the first story we have for you today is about Google still paying Apple billions of dollars to remain the default search engine on iOS. So according to the UK government, they have just discovered that Google paid Apple $1.5 billion to remain the default search engine on iOS in the UK alone. In 2014, Google paid Apple $1 billion to remain the default search engine on iOS in the US alone. Now, according to data, Apple makes over $9 billion every single year from Google and other service providers paying it for paid placements on iOS. Now, the UK government is unhappy with this because obviously they don't want Apple to monetize this way and they also feel it inhibits competition. So they want Apple to force their users to choose a search engine every time they set up a new device. The next story has to do with Google image search becoming a little bit smarter. So Google image search is actually really big. If you are a webmaster or a person interested in SEO, you should definitely look into it. So in Google image search, it has become now bigger, wherein it will also show facts about the image that you're looking at in a knowledge panel, which can be expanded to show information about people, places, and things. Google is obviously getting this information from their deep learning understanding of the image and combining it with various information from the website hosting the image. If you are a webmaster, all tags and image descriptions became a whole lot more important. Our next story has to do with Google banning 25 apps because they copied users' Facebook credentials. So this is completely a story that happens only with very old users of the Android platform. These apps have been in the store for over one year and have over two and a half million downloads. Apparently, they are apps like Flashlight, Extra Strong Flashlight, Video Maker, Image Editor. All of these apps make the user log in with Facebook and when they click on that button, they take them to a fake Facebook login page and copy all of their credentials. Google has taken down these apps after a tip-off from French security research firm called Evina. Our next story has to do with Facebook adding some new features to WhatsApp business. So WhatsApp business is super big all across the world with over 50 million businesses using it every single month. They've added two new features. The first one is called QR codes, wherein if you are a user, you can scan a QR code and then start chatting with the business immediately. The second one is called store catalogs and individual products links. So as a business, you can share links to your individual products or to your entire store on various social media platforms which are owned by Facebook. Our final story of the day has to do with the potential integration between Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. The end of the world is now near. Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp have been playing fast and loose for quite a bit now. In a new update found in Facebook Messenger beta, they have found that Messenger Rooms has been added to WhatsApp and that clearly indicates that Facebook is interested in this subject. In a new update found in Facebook Messenger beta, they have found a database showing you which of your contacts are on WhatsApp, whether you block them, whether you've enabled push notifications and the message counter in that conversation. This clearly indicates that integration is coming soon and across Facebook's various services, including Instagram, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. That's about it for this week's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the social.in account. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and we will see you guys in the next episode.